This is an image that we see every day in our community. Plastic bags thrown into the environment where they tangle in trees, strangle animals, and drift in our waters. This is an ever-growing crisis that is not only affecting our environment, but the world's. Hi, I'm Rob Knoll, and I am here to teach you about this ever-budding crisis. There is a plentiful amount of information that I will cover in this program that you might or might not know. So come along and join me as I dig deep into this ever-growing crisis. Between 500 million and 1 trillion plastic bags are consumed all over the world each year. They are cheap to produce, sturdy, plentiful, and easy to carry and to store heavy loads like groceries at the supermarket, clothes at the department store, or even to pack a school lunch in. People use plastic bags day in and day out, but does anyone really understand the effects that the use of plastic bags has on the environment? Millions of these bags end up as litter with candy wrappers, chewing gum, cigarette butts, and the thousands of other pieces of junk that people disregard and throw out the window. However, once the plastic bags are in the environment, it takes months or even hundreds of years to fully decompose. During this process, tiny, sometimes microscopic toxic bits are released into the environment and seep into soils, lakes, rivers, and our oceans. Once in the ocean, they can wash ashore and become a threat to many kinds of wildlife. According to the nonprofit Center for Marine Conservation, plastic bags are among the 12 items of debris most often found in coastal cleanups. Did you know that approximately 500 nautical miles off the coast of California, there is a growing plastic island? This floating mass of plastic trash, hence the name Plastic Island, is held together by currents stretching across the northern Pacific almost as far as Japan. As of right now, it is made up of about 7 billion pounds of plastic garbage and measures about twice the size of Texas and is still growing as more and more people are improperly disposing of plastic bags. This is very deadly for wildlife that inhabits this part of the Pacific Ocean. Mistaken for food, plastic bags are often eaten by animals such as fish or sea turtles. In fact, over 100,000 sea turtles and other marine animals die every year due to the improper disposal or the use of plastic bags. Plastic bags are also harmful in ways that you probably wouldn't expect. Did you know that the production of plastic bags requires vast amounts of oil? That's right, the production of plastic bags is actually increasing our dependency on foreign oil. If we reduce the amount of plastic bags that are used, even just a little bit, it could decrease our dependency on foreign oil. That, in turn, would also help our economy. We're here at the Doylestown Township Municipal Building to talk to Sandra Brooklyn, the Special Project Coordinator for Doylestown Township. We're here to ask her a few questions about what she feels about the plastic bag issue. Why is it so important that we need to reduce the use of plastic bags? Um, well, there's a lot of reasons to reduce your use of plastic bags. Um, the number one reason, I would say, is that the DEP um, states that about 500 billion to 100 billion bags are consumed worldwide each year. So that's a huge amount of plastic bags. And they're very um, hard and costly to recycle. And even with that huge amount being consumed, only about 1% of them are being recycled. So even though people take their bags and put them in the recycling bin at the supermarket, they, that's still only just 1% of a ton of bags. So, Are there any special programs that Doylestown is going to send in place to do anything about this? Um, we're, our Environmental Advisory Council is very active and they're looking into putting together some sort of programming um, to reduce the use of plastic bag use. If, at the minimum it would be an educational campaign and at the maximum hopefully some sort of event. Okay. Uh, why are plastic bags such a threat to the environment? Well, there's a lot of reasons. Um, I'd say that besides the numbers I gave you on how little of them are recycled, um, there's also a financial aspect of it that it costs about $4,000 to process um, a big load of plastic bag recycling and they can only sell that same amount for $32. So there's basically, for the producers and the recycler, recyclers, there's no 
like economic reason to keep recycling plastic bags. It doesn't get them any money to do so. Um, the other problem is plastic bags, if you throw them in the trash and they go into the landfill, they eventually just break down into little pieces. They never totally biodegrade. So like a little duck swimming in a pond and it swallows a little piece of the plastic and something can happen. And, you know, it can really be dangerous to wildlife as also in the oceans, you know. Um, I think plastic bags are the number one thing that washes up on shorelines. Um, there's so many reasons that they're not good for the environment. Um, is there anything that you would suggest that the average person could do to help this issue? Yes, definitely. Um, I'm sure that most people have seen in their grocery stores the reusable cloth bags that most stores are offering now. They're usually about 99 cents um, and the amount of bags that just one cloth bag can reduce is, is huge. Using one bag, cloth bag, saves the average person 288 plastic bags in a year. Um, and that's 22,176 bags in a lifetime. So that's just switching from like one plastic bag to one cloth bag. And if you went to the grocery store, you usually have more than one bag. So you can see how quickly we could reduce our use of plastic bags if people just convert, for a very small amount of money, just convert to the cloth bags. Uh, where can people go to acquire more information on this topic? Um, they can go to um, our website, www.doylestownpa.org. Um, Doylestown residents and anyone could access that, and we'll have information on there regarding plastic bag recycling. Um, and I think even just if you go to your local grocery store, you can talk to the um, cashiers there and get your own cloth bags. It's really simple. You don't need that much more information. Just go from plastic to cloth and problem solved. Um, is there anything else you would like to say? No, just recycle. You know, plastic bags aren't the only thing that can be recycled. Um, you can recycle your glass, your um, newspapers, plastic, cans, um, also leaf and yard waste. We have a new leaf and yard waste program and drop-off site in Doylestown Township. Um, they can look for that on our website as well. So there's so many opportunities to recycle, um, and I just hope that our residents take those opportunities to do so. Thank you very much. You're now, after hearing all this information, you might be thinking, well, how can we help if we can't recycle the bag? Or, how could the actions of one person possibly help stop all that? Well, the thing is, is that there are ways that the average person can help out. People can start using reusable cloth bags in their daily life. That's right, reusable. Some stores around the country are making the switch to reusable cloth bags and are selling them to people for a little more than a plastic bag costs. Now, it is a little more expensive, but for each high quality reusable bag you use has the potential to eliminate an average of 1,000 plastic bags over its lifetime. That is a huge savings. It would also prevent those 1,000 plastic bags from getting into the environment and causing the heavy consequences I explained earlier. There is proof of this in countries such as Taiwan, South Africa, Australia, and Ireland, who have either heavily taxed plastic bags in their country or eliminated them completely. This led to a greater use of reusable bags in these countries and has helped out their environment significantly. Because of the good effects of these countries' actions, the United Kingdom and some U.S. cities are now considering similar actions. So there you have it. The continued use of plastic bags can have some pretty devastating effects on our environment. If people just take the time to think about this issue and learn more about it, it can help the environment dramatically. So get yourself out there. Be the voice of your community. Because if someone doesn't, this issue will only blow away in the wind.